Balea Bags wallet. It's quite a nice wallet. I really very much like it. And here's why. First of all, the material. It's a buffalo leather. Now this particular buffalo leather is not a smooth, shiny finish. Instead, it's more of a matte, suede, or raw finish. It looks and feels, well, rather masculine. Kind of like a man's man's wallet. Uh, the reason I say that is, there are a lot of wallets out there that look cheap, or well made, or not very well made, rather. And this is, is neither of those things. It looks quality, and it looks well made, and it, it seems to be as well. It's held up so far with my use. Today I wanted to highlight several of the reasons why I like this particular wallet. Besides the look and the feel, I like the slim profile. The fact that you can fit so much within and it maintains a narrow shape and doesn't bulk up in your, in your pocket is a really nice feature. Uh, as I said earlier, I like the fact that the leather feels, looks, and even smells, well, very genuine. And it is. Uh, looking at the outside of the bag, uh, the Leia Bags wallet, you'll notice it says Leia Bags right there. It's embossed leather. Uh, name is emblazoned on just one of the two sides of the wallet, not on the other. Uh, I like the stitching that goes around, all the way around, and goes continues into the inside. When you open the wallet, the first thing you'll notice is the fact that it has a, a hinged part where when you open it all the way, this top flap flips open to reveal the ID spot. Really handy. Other wallets have similar features. I've had a couple wallets in the past that have something similar. However, th what's nice about this is it flips up, and then you can close so that you're not showing any of your other personal information, and it only reveals your ID. In this case, it's useful for any number of things, such as going through the airport, if someone checks your ID for age verification, such as you know buying an alcoholic beverage, if you smoke, smoke, you know, getting some smokes, um, you know, anything like that. It's nice. For me, when I travel, a lot of times you'd have to show your ID. You don't always have to get it out. So this is really handy. Just flip it open, and then we're done, flip it back, closed. Really handy. While it's open, besides the fact that that's handy, what's also nice is behind, behind that are, is a space for four cards, four credit cards. And then when you open it up, four more. So you can fit eight there. Now, indeed, you could fit more. However, if you double stack the cards, of course, it's going to cause unnecessary strain on the wallet. And over time, it may cause the seam to stretch and maybe even pull apart and break. So if you want your wallet to last you, you need to take care of it. So don't overstuff your wallet. So I like that quite a bit. I also like the fact that it has the, uh, the spot underneath. You could set something underneath here, uh, such as pictures of family. You could fit uh, any number of little things, receipts. When I used to travel a lot for work, uh, I'd have to collect all my receipts to make sure I was reimbursed from my company. So it would be nice to be able to set them somewhere where I knew I wouldn't lose them, but at the same time, wouldn't have to worry about them falling out. That's a really nice secure spot because it's only open on one side. On the other side of the wallet is probably about the only thing I don't like about the wallet. And again, it's personal preference. It's not a design feature that's poor. That's just something personal preference I don't care as much for. And here's why. In my opinion, wallets should never have a snap or a zipper. Again, personal preference. This wallet has a snap, and the reason for that is it's meant for change. Here I've just enclosed a single quarter. Now, if you were going to use this on a regular basis and fill it with change, it would bulk up really quickly, and because of that bulkiness, right here where I'm circling, you would have wear over time. That wear, of course, would show into the leather, and if you ever stopped using it for coins, it would probably weaken the leather in that spot. Also, the obvious, when you close the wallet and set it in your pants and go to, say, sit down or whatever, it would bulk up and be very uncomfortable. So, for that reason, I would perhaps recommend to lay bags a, a redesign, or at least an option for a redesign. Perhaps another option would be more credit card spots. Most every company in the world seems to have their loyalty program. You know, with hotels, rental cars, gas stations, heck, everything. Um, and with every loyalty program. Here's one from Kroger, a regional grocery store chain. Um, so the more card spots, probably the better. Um, fewer people use metal coins and uh, actual paper paper cash anymore, at least in, in my experience. More and more people use cards or electronic payments. Inside the wallet, I found a couple of features I really like. First of all, it's divided. On one side, I've kept cash. I normally don't carry cash, but here we happen to have 15 bucks. Um, and then there's a divide for other 
another space. In the other space, you could put, say, cash from another spot. Say you were traveling. Uh, I used to travel, like I said, quite a bit for my old job. So I would have, as an example, Canadian currency on one side, U.S. on the other, or German currency, you know, whatever country you might travel to. That way you can keep them separate. A um, couple other features that are nice. The fact that it's uh, divided. I flip the wallet over. See that little loop right here? This way it doesn't bunch up when you open it, causing unnecessary strain or wear on the wallet. This feature alone is really, really well thought out. Um, it hinges really nicely. Uh, back to the inside of the wallet, you'll notice it's a little bit difficult to see with the lighting here, but the inside is almost like an army green or olive green color. Uh, it's a, a fabric, uh, a diagonal print. It's really nice because it's got a nice visual contrast. Um, if you were to put pretty much anything in there, it will show up really nicely against that because it also has a slightly, as you can tell, a metallic or shiny surface, which is nice. Um, Laybags probably kept it this olive green color because it is, again, rather masculine. That said, if it had a lighter color, perhaps it would be easier to see. Indeed, if you had something inside without you know, pulling it all the way apart. Uh, I do like the color combination. It's really, really nice. Uh, as far as the wallet itself, so far it's worn very, very well. Uh, over time, I see this leather... Wearing well, again, it's a suede, but not really suede. So I think over time it'll develop a really nice patina and wear pattern. Um, such as um, I have a messenger bag that's very similar to that. I really, really like it. So overall, this is one of my favorite wallets I've ever had. I've really enjoyed using it so far and, well, indeed, plan to use it for many more years to come. Thank you.